There must be some challenges, you know, as a cinematographer filming outside with the sun. I know there's one scene in particular that you called out in other interviews, and I'd love to talk about it now, is the dragonfly scene in the very <laughs> first episode because you are shooting at actual sunset, and there's certainly some challenges with that. Can you just talk to us about kind of like your overall philosophy for exteriors in Pachinko and also that scene? I think there's two contradicting forces at work. One is, of course, every cinematographer would always like to shoot either in the morning or in the evening and avoid the high sun. Yeah. Now, um, uh, I am always a slightly, you know, you, you, when you do your prep, you, you of course nominate that and you say, oh, uh, you talk to the first and he said, I would love to shoot this there. And then they say, oh yeah, of course noted, you know, and then three weeks later they come back with a schedule and it disregards <laughs> like every single time. And sometimes it is true. It is not possible, you know, because we have to, you know, value whatever turnaround times, actors availability and all that. So I've made my peace with it. Oftentimes you cannot choose the the time of day, but that's crucial, you know. And in that particular instance, we wanted to shoot it. Uh, we had this field, uh, in actually in the actual village where we shot most uh, of all the farm stuff. And ironically, for reasons I don't know, that field burned down like three days before we wanted to shoot. Oh my god! And oh my god. Um, then they had to find because we couldn't change the schedule. We had to find this other spot. Um, uh, and we just by chance found this little, this little perfect little field that was perfectly, you know, orientated towards yeah. the West. And uh, it was, I think, on our first or second shooting day. So we were still struggling with the different working methods and communication. So we finished our work in this one place, jumped in cars and drove over there. And then we waited and the trucks people had sent the trucks to the wrong place. So I was just thinking, man, this is going to be crazy. So by the time everybody, you know, realized they'd made mistakes. And by the time we, we were ready to go, we literally had 20 minutes and we literally put the steady cam onto our uh, a camera operator, a lovely gentleman called John Clothier. And we just shot and that's it, you know, and oh then God. the spur of the moment, you know, and the light was perfect. I mean, you could have probably, you know, overworked it um, endlessly, but it was just right the way it was.